It's a rainy day. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. There's only a single announcement today, but it's a big one. Yes, yes. Our goal, as always, is to provide you all with the top quality support you deserve. And so, please note, Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent to a new, more permanent building. Hooray. It's a big move, and construction will take some time, so we will be close tomorrow. Please check on lo oh, please check on lost items at the recycle box, or use the Nook Stop today while it's available, yes, yes? Alright, thank you, Tom. What's in the mail? Oh, my money tree's also grown. Alright, Jolly Reds. I got my Mona Lisa. And Luna. Dear Dreamer, I am certain many memories of your island are dear to you. What if you could share those memories in the more oh in the form of a pleasant dream? You can. And it's as easy as falling asleep in your bed. Sleep well, Luna. Thank you, Luna. Delicious. Alright, let me do my daily chores. Uh not chopping the tree, but just getting money. Oh, hello, Cherry. I like your little spiderweb umbrella. Sup, what, what? Where are you headed? Let's chat. It's gonna take more than a little rain to get me down, what, what? Oh, that's all you have to say? Okay. Ooh, who are you? Clay. Hi, I'm Clay. What's your name? Oh, you just moved in, didn't you? Chaotic. I'll be sure to remember that. You're so... Actually, hmm... Is that a mask, or is that, like, is that your actual body? I can't tell. Like, what's your clothes? What's your skin? I, I don't know what begins and what ends. I just moved here, and don't know much about the island, but you seem pretty cool. Alright, well, nice to meet you. I want to see your house. I haven't seen any of the houses since the other day. Hmm. This is Clay's house. Okay. And yep, we've already seen Bianca's house. Oh, and this is the other person, Bertha, right? Yeah, Bertha. Is she inside? I, I can't see the smoke. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. Let's pay her a visit. Knockity knock. Hello, Bertha. We meet again, pay out. Pay out. Oh, I can't even say my own name right now. I'm still new here on this island, so it's great to see a friendly face. All right, goodbye. Well, actually, hold on. What's up, Bloop? I want to chat. Oh, don't mind the mess on my wooden table. I got clumsy and spilled something on it earlier, Bloop. Your house is so just cute. Like, look at the... I want a bookshelf like this. That's neat. Oh, yeah, I can do stuff on the mirror, right? Oh, no, I can't. How do you feel about trying out different styles, Peotic? It's kind of thrilling, isn't it? Oh, I suggest... Well, I suggest you try using... Oh. What was I saying? Well, <laughs> I suggest you try using a wooden full-length mirror. It's a great way to explore different aspects of your personality. Alright. Yeah, I guess I can't really interact with these, right? Yeah. There's nothing in here. She only wears one set of clothes every day, I guess. Alright, goodbye. Oh, Red's back on the island. Hold on. Uh, uh, let me go pay him a visit. That's actually quite interesting, considering um, I've only just met him the other day. Alright, there is his houseboat thingy. I'm on my way downtown. Alright, let's see what's in store today. Well, if it isn't my favorite cousin. Glad to have you back aboard Jolly Red's treasure trawler. Oh, store policy. I know it, you know it. We must have a limit of one art piece per customer per day. Choose wisely. So this is another Mona Lisa, but you can see the eyebrow. So I definitely got the real one the other day. This is probably like the only one that I know for sure uh, is a fake. The others I might uh, cheat with. <laughs> I might I might look it up because I don't want to get a, a false painting. You you are a big face. <laughs> oh, what is this? The charm and elegance of the very finest horchata wrapped up into an essay set. Okay. I don't think I actually want an essay set, sorry. 
Yeah, hold on. Let me just uh look up a list of <laughs> Let me look up a list of what's uh real and what's not because I because I really don't feel like getting a false piece of art. So um we will be back momentarily. <laughs> oh, so apparently this flower painting is always genuine, so I will gladly take it. You got a deal. You are not going to regret this. While we're here, I will have to definitely donate the painting that I have on hand to the museum. All right, what kind of what kind of things am I completing? Ooh, bell ringer. Oh, okay, spending money. I'm boosting the economy. True patron of the arts. All right, let us continue about our day. Oh, hello. Over here. Chaotic. Hey, Glimmer. I'm going around Grandania saying hi to everyone. I have to get my brand out there, you know? Let the people know a future pop star walks among them. Hold up, I just remembered. I thought maybe you'd like this, so here you go. Thank you. Just, just a chic little souvenir I brought from my last island. Check it. An air... Air... Oh, air... <laughs> circulator. I thought that said air calculator. I was like, what the fuck is that? I just had this feeling these might be your thing. And now, they get to be Grandania's thing too. Thank you. I'm like, so happy. Well, actually, that would probably be really good because I'd rather not have still air in my house. Anyway, I'm like, so happy I got someone like you around to do stuff for me. Glitter. Oh, glimmer. Glitter is something different. Alright, what's in this bottle? An ironwood chair. Sorry, I didn't even bother to, to stop and read the note. Thank you, whoever sent me that. Alright, I got everything I needed to, so let me go donate to Blathers. Also, I just saw the apple trees down growing, finally. I need you to assess my fossils. Um, oh my. I have so many of them. Um, I will make a donation. I just want to donate the painting separately because I want to see what he says about it. Oh, everything is unique. I think. Oh yeah, everything is definitely unique. Um, I'd like to make another donation. There it is. Famous painting. That is most surely a famous painting. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon the real thing, but there it is, very much a famous painting. I shall treat this donation with the... Oh. He doesn't really say much, does he? Huh. Alright. Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, look at that. Here's my apple tree. Ah, oh, that's marvelous. I should plant a couple more of these, actually. Uh, let's get rid of a couple of these stumps. Um, I think I'm just going to plant my money tree here. Let's plant an apple tree right here. Or, oh wait, I have to grab a... I have to dig a hole first. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's plant an apple tree right here. Not grab one. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Plant. There we go. And yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, I wonder if there's anything that... Oops. If anything um, that Tom has to say to me. I couldn't formulate that sentence. <laughs> Hello. Ah, Peotic. Hello, hello. I'm looking for folks to participate in a customization workshop. Learning how to customize your creations will make DIY even more fun, so I hope you join in. Okay. Uh I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this. And yes, I have enough to do uh the rest of my loan balance. Full amount, please. Delicious. All right, time to get a new home loan. <laughs> you are the proud owner of a luxury, look, oh, luxuriously sized, paid in full home. I thought you were talking about a luxury sized home, and I'm like, does this thing look like a fucking mansion to you or something? <laughs> What's going on? Don't play with me. I can imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better, hmm? I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me. I simply can't help myself. Oh man, you are just 
really being a capitalist right now, aren't you? <laughs> but do come see me if you've... Look, look at him snickering like, mm-hmm, I've enticed him now. <laughs> I'm all ears. Um, about my home. Well, hmm. For your home, I think adding a new room would be nice. If we add it on the back, it won't change the look of your home, but you'll get so much more space. It'll also keep the construction costs down, relatively speaking. Alright, 348k. Let's do it. Excellent. I'll get the construction started right away. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning. morning. So exciting. Exciting indeed. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> well, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let me let me come back because I got other things to ask you about, I suppose. That's a cute little uh, autumn leaf umbrella that Clay has. Um, about that workshop. <laughs> Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, Paiotic? I'd love to. Yes, yes. That's the spirit. Let's get started. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. Then you'll customize your item at a work- I I'm just realizing, I don't think I ever did this. Because uh, I- I've mentioned before in past episodes, I've had, um... An island for like, you know, two years. I don't think I remember ever coming to ask about this. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself, so let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe, and then do some- Well, okay. Maybe I did do this before, I don't- I just don't remember. The wardrobe you'll make, as well as closets, chests, and other items that store clothing, are quite useful. You can use them to easily change into any clothes you have stored in your home storage. You could use your custom-colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. That freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Grandania, hmm? Oops, you're going to need the DIY recipe for it first. Let me just send that over now. There, all set. So, come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe, hmm? Alright. Um, also, let me ask you... What should I do? Yeah, what should I do? <laughs> Yes, yes, that is the question. Chaotic, you already registered for my uh, customization workshop. As, well, you really want me to do that? Well, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, just some wood? Okay. Cool. Okay, I think that's enough wood. It was 12 or something like that. Um, oh, wait. Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, I guess I'll meet Tom in the place at the time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, let's make that wardrobe. Okay. There we go. Um, all done for now, because I want to do the customization. Oh, Paiotic, you got your warden- Let me, let me read that again. Oh, Paiotic, you've got your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, Paiotic, I'll give you some customization kits. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Alright, thank you. Oh, okay, actually, no, I don't remember this at all. <laughs> oh, I like the cherry wood. Dark wood. Black, green, blue, pink. Uh... I like the cherry wood. Well... What kind of theme am I going for? I don't really have a theme yet. Maybe I'll just do white wood. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I customize a wooden wardrobe. Yes, yes. Masterfully done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects, hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. 
now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now take a break, hmm? I do believe you've earned it. A break for all that? Alright, whatever. <laughs> uh, see ya, Tom. Yeah, let me go put my things away. Um, well... Where's a good spot for my wardrobe? Like, probably... Hmm. Yeah, I need to have, like, a plan for this. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it would fit, right? Oh, that's, that's good. Um, what does the air circulator look like? Oh. So it's a fan. <laughs> well... Oh, I've never noticed, like, the window has, uh, raindrops on it when it's raining outside. That's a nice touch. Um, I think I'm gonna, like, put this in the corner next to my bed. We'll just have it facing the room, like the middle of the room. Um, what else do I have at the moment? A Sphinx and Luna's bed. Oh, I could definitely change out uh, Luna's bed for this crappy Easter looking bed. <laughs> I wasn't really a fan of it. It's cute, but like not for the whole year. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Um, let's turn it. Nope, Tur turn it. I might, wait, hold on. It's, I might have to stand over here. So then, let's turn it. Push. No. 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 <laughs> Controls. Be damned. Okay. Yeah, just right up in the corner. Actually, I could probably put the fan over here now. Um, that's a bunny day bed. Air circulator. Great. And then what was this again? Oh yeah, Sphinx. Uh, that's probably an outside decoration. Bunny day bed I'll just put in the storage for now. And these uh, customization kits. Okay, so let's check out this wardrobe. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I think I'm content with what I got. I wonder if Tom has anything else to say to me at the moment. Let's see, what should I do? I can't think of any more advice to give you, Piotic. You've accomplished so much. Uh, okay, let me read that again. You've accomplished so much. I'm sure you can find your own ways of having fun and living your best life. Alright, well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Bye. Who's she waving at? Oh, she waved at Clay. Okay, I was like, what's going on here? Uh, maybe you should talk to Clay a little bit, uh, a bit more. It's still pouring, but I've made up my mind. I'm going to tough it out and have fun anyway. What's the latest? The plaza's so neat. With other folks here, it can get rowdy. That's when I like to run around like an airplane. Oh yeah, that little animation sequence is so cute. And when nothing's happening here, I like to lay down in the middle of everything and take a nap. I think now would probably be a good opportunity to go swimming. Because I want... Uh, well... Is there usually anything in the ocean that comes up, like, during rain? Specifically? I don't know. There definitely might be fish, like regular fish, when I'm fishing. Um, that would come up during the rain, so... I will also consider doing that. Ooh! Yes, I got an octopus! It can give four hugs at once. Well, that's neat. Ooh. Yes, I got a scallop. It ought to be savored. Uh, shoot. I don't want to give Pascal my, uh, 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 scallop. Hey, man. About that scallop of yours. Can I have it? No, I'm gonna keep it. Sorry. It's cool, man. Scallops come and scallops go, but the sea will always be there. I just want to donate to the museum. I'm sorry. It's nothing against you, but yeah. Well, okay. What was, uh, what was that? Underwater understudy. I've just been collecting a lot of animals. Fresh ingredient. Ah, uh, well, there's another scallop. 
Hello again. Yeah, you can have it. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. Forget give and take. This is, this is called give and give. That's how we all win, you dig? Now if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. They say the early bird gets the worm, but those evening birds seem to be doing just fine. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep, today is a good day. I love how he's like a hipster. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, I got a pearl oyster. Aw oh, shucks, don't clam up now. I'm getting all these new things. I love it. Oh, my inventory is full. Let it go. Oh, there's Red ship, his boat thingy. Alright, let's go to the museum. Um, donation. I got these three things. Beautiful. No, we're good, thank you. Uh, while we're here, let me check out whatever this is. Mermaid closet. Alright. What's that look like? Oh, he's just immediately back to sleep behind me. Uh, what does that look like? Oh, it's kind of darling. Oh, and I see. Alright. Alright, let's sell the rest of the stuff that I have. I might get this now. Yeah, I'll buy it. Hey, goodbye. One of these days I'll have to actually like arrange my house properly, but I'm gonna just stick the study desk in this corner area. Just kinda push you off to the side. There you go. My my room is just a clutter of things that are sort of related, but not really related. Like yeah. Alright, let's continue from this spot. Ooh. Yes, I got a dungeness crab. Dun dun dun, Janice. Do you think we'll see a rainbow after all this rain bloop? Let's talk. Have you noticed that suspicious boat anchored off the northern shore of the island bloop? I never thought a boat could look so untrustworthy until now. Yeah, I got a, a couple good deals out of that though. Yes, I have a dungeness crab. The Dungeness Crab wears a pretty fan-shaped shell that, that's often done up in purple hues. But eye-catching colors aside, this fellow can be surprisingly hard to spot. That's because the Dungeness Crab is something of an ex expert hider. When scared, it plays a nifty trick. That is, it buries itself beneath the, span with, the, span, the sand with impressive speed. Now you see me, now you don't. It says as, as, it, van it, says as it vanishes before your very eyes. And there you have it. Alright. You know what? I kind of want to check out the Mona Lisa in the art section. There it is. Famous painting. Oh, delicious. Mona Lisa, Leonardo da Vinci, circa 8... Or sorry, not 18. <laughs> that is not an 8 by any means. 1503. Oil on poplar. The world's most famous smile. It's said that da Vinci kept painting kept this painting for himself until the very end. Given its power to beguile visitors all these years later, it's easy to see why. It was also featured in a music video called Ape Ship by the Carters. <laughs> Alright, let's sell these sea creatures. Okay. Here we go. Uh, what was this gift again? A basket pack. Alright, and now let's go real fishing. Especially now that it's raining outside. Probably yield some different results than normal. Ooh, I got a lionfish. Oh, I guess they call it something different in this game, don't they? A, a zebra turkey fish. Land, air, water, make up your mind. 
I don't think that's different than a lionfish, right? They're the same thing. Or if it's not a colloquialism, then like, what is it? <laughs> I need to know. Hmm, a pale chub. Ah, oh, there goes my thingy. All right. What's the wildest dreams DIY? I'll have to look at that in a moment. None of these catch my interest except for the, uh, this. Well, just dreams to you. Ah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll buy it. Ah, every time with the vibration. And we're done. All right, thank you. Nope, we're good. Okay, we got... Oh, there's a basket pack. A hearth. Huh. And then we got, ooh, an ironwood kitchenette. An iron wall lamp, a brick oven, wooden fish, wooden fish, what, 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 wooden, wooden fish. That doesn't look like a fish. Am I, am I dumb? Am I just not seeing it? What do you, what do you mean? Like a, like a, a fish, the animal? I don't get it. Um, and a, <laughs> and a plane sink. All right. Good to know. Oh, hold on, I'm fishing. Oh, that's a Neon Tetra. Alright, who- Hi, Clay. Clay? Oh, there we go. Have you been using reactions? You have a flea on you. <gasps> I can use my net. I'm gonna teach you a real good one today. Has anyone said you don't have as many crumbs on you today, but you're too bashful to say thanks? No worries, just do this. <laughs> See? You can tell I'm real flattered even though I haven't said anything. So now if you need to, just use bashfulness and everyone will understand how you feel. Great, now let me get my net out and catch these fleas on you, you dirty bastard. <laughs> I can't see. Please move. Okay. No! So itchy. This is how my tongue felt after I ate that puffy fish. I'm just a big itchy fish tongue, so itchy. Yeah, I'm trying to get these fleas off of you. There we go. Yes, I caught a flea. The curse is lifted. He still probably got the plague. Um, so go get that checked out. <laughs> you saved me from a flea? I guess you could say it was the fleeced you could do. Anyway, yeah, uh, great, thanks. <laughs> Flea flicker. Tidy, wild child. Alright, let this continue. Ooh. I caught a crawfish. Or else it's a lobster and I'm giant. I, personally, I, I know that there's different ways to, you know, refer to them as. Some people say crawfish. Some say crayfish. I say crawdad. Because that's fun. I don't know. <laughs> that's just how I grew up hearing it. Make a donation, please. Alright, we got a flea, a crawfish, and a zebra turkey fish. Hmm. Oh, I got, I got another one of these things. Oh my god, a second one in a row? You're crazy. Ooh. Yes! I caught a barred knife jaw. They must have a hard time eating. Alright, Mr. Owlman. Make a donation. Take my fish. My, my one fish that I can actually give you. The barred knife jaw, also called the striped beak fish, is a lovely fish with a distinctive striped pattern. It is reportedly also very curious fish in that it in that it has been known to approach swimmers to greet them. They also tend to be good at avoiding fish hooks, so well done in outwitting this one. And there you have it. Oh, okay. Alright, take all this junk. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to time travel to tomorrow since, you know, we're still a little bit behind. Um, and yeah, I could just fast forward and see what's new with my house. So, I will get back to you momentarily. But first, we are also um, actually going to just skip a few hours to tonight because I'm sure there's many creatures that I haven't gotten yet. So, I will see you in 
I don't know, like nine hours in game time. Be right back. Alright, it is nighttime and not rainy actually, so. Um, oh, I should probably get my net out because there's probably like a spider or a scorpion or something. Like a tarantula or a scorpion or something uh, crawling around and I don't want to get got. I probably will, just, you know, because I suck, but. Oh, what's that? <gasps> there's a beetle. Beetle on the stump. Beetle on the stump. Oh, you. Ah, I screwed up. <laughs> Hello. Oops, sorry. S stop. We just talked to you. <laughs> well, chaotic. We're seeing a lot of one another today. What's the latest? Winter wind and spring has come. Let's celebrate by doing something dumb. What? It kind of rhymed. Shut up. <laughs> Springtime. The season of love. I wonder what. I wonder why that is. Maybe cupids hibernate? Are cupids their own species? Or are they just babies who can fly? Okay, now you're getting too... Too deep. <laughs> Never mind. I just had the best idea. Me, on stage. Cupids fly up behind me, lifting a banner that says, World's Greatest Pop Star. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Alright, next chance. Please don't F it up. There we go. What are you? A jewel beetle. It's a rare gem. I said those both in a very weird way. Those two words. Ooh. Have I gotten a citrus beetle already? I don't know. Probably. I have. Ooh, a moth. Oops. There we go. Yes, I caught a moth, and I had a ball doing it. Oh, somebody dropped an item of some kind. I picked up a lost item. I should probably try to re reunite it with its owner. Alright, let me catch this fish real quick. Why is it always a freaking loach? It's crazy. I caught a hundred fish. Competent fishing fan, great. Ooh. Yes. I caught a cherry salmon. It's a perfect topper for a marlin sundae. Brilliant. Delicious. Um, right. Ooh, I caught a koi fish. I don't know why it's so shy or such a bad speller. Well, not too much on my koi fish. All right. <laughs> Ooh, Dory. I got a surgeon fish, scalpel, forceps, fish hook. All right, how much? Uh, oh, it's actually as many as I can get. So let me return these to Blathers. Uh, jewel beetle, moth, cherry salmon, koi, bl blue tang. I'm pretty sure that's what they're normally called. And then I suppose this is closed over here, isn't it? So I can just donate, or not donate, but like put them in the box. There we go, sell. Okay. Now I must find the person whom this thingy belongs to. Hi, Cherry. You lose this? Hmm, nah, not my style. Oh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was Bianca's. Alright, good to know. See you later. Alright, to Bianca's house, and if she's not there, then I will just find her anyway. <laughs> and she's not home, I should have known. Oh, there she is. Thanks for stopping to say hi. Drop something? Let me see. Whoa, it's totally the bag I've been hunting for. Thank you so much for bringing this back to me. I want to give you a reward. It's a shirt. <laughs> How cool is this? It's an open collar shirt. I hope you like it. Alright, thank you. Hmm, smile aisle. 
kindly standard. Hello, Bertha. How are you doing, Bloop? I want to chat. So, what's your opinion of my pin-tuck pleated dress? I just think the style is so much fun. It makes me want to bake something sweet and fluffy. Yeah, you do you. That's not a read on her or anything. I'm just saying, like, you know, good, good for you. Ooh. Yes, I caught a butterfly fish. Did it change from a caterpillar fish? Oh, this is a great idea because I'm getting all sorts of new things to put in my museum. <gasps> okay. Ooh, I got a tadpole. Okay, what is this? Oops. There we go. Alright. What is... Oh, like uh, the, the thing for cats? Oh yeah, that thing. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's she doing over there? Admiring a moth? It's silly Bertha. Anyway. <gasps> oh no! I scared it off! Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh. Well, hopefully I can wander around and find that moth again, because... That was really dumb. I see it. Hold on. Okay. Don't mess this up. Me. God, it's freaking huge. Yes! I got it. Alright. I caught an atlas moth. I bet it never gets lost. Oh, that was... That was very satisfying, after losing it the first time. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Blathers. Uh, this fish and this bug. Alright, well I think I've done everything that I wanted to for tonight, so we are going to time travel like around 12 hours into the future, so I will see you tomorrow. Ooh. Look at this. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. As I mentioned yesterday, resident services is closed today due to construction. I realize this may be a bit of an inconvenience, but I promise the island will be, will be better for it. You'll see. As you can imagine, I'll have my paws full today with the resident services construction. I'll be getting back to that now. Have a good day everyone. Hmm, who I got a letter from? Oh, and I'm getting a call from somebody. Hello, this is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. Oh yeah, because I donated the... Not donated, but sold the stuff. Cool. Thank you. Also, since Clay's here... Hi, how you doing? I want to chat. Another neat Dan Grandania thump. Okay. Is that all? A vaulting pole. I had one of them, but it was really super busted. Every time I tried to vault over the river, it would drop me right in the water. Oh well, I met a lot of fish that way. Alright. <laughs> um, okay, happy home. Oh yeah, because I extended my house, duh. Um, Jolly Reds. And Bertha. Alright. So this, ooh, a rock guitar. This should be that painting. Yeah, the flowery painting. And then from Bertha, an amp. All right, that's pretty fitting since I just got that guitar. I'm just gonna put, the oh, yeah, hold on. Let me just uh, move this out of the way. Um, I guess I'll make that my bed uh, bedroom back there then. Yay, another room. Um, let me start putting my things down. Oh god, which is which? Okay. And then vacuum cleaner, I'll just put... I don't know. Somewhere. But can you turn it on? You can. Love that. Alright. Um... 
And then I'll just put this back in storage. Otherwise, yeah, I think we're pretty good for now. I will be back later. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's new. I saw one of the Able sisters. Here we go. Hey, hi there. Dot dot dot. Oh, right. Didn't I see you at the store a while back? I know you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but my, na my name's Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. Anyway, that's how I heard about Grandania and came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to open my own shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, alright? Oh, hey. Since you're, like, right here, you want to see the stuff I'm selling today? Sure. Great. Let me just open up today's catalog for you. Cardigan and shirt combo. Square glasses. I do wear glasses in real life, so... I kind of like this, uh, cardigan shirt combo. It'll be a nice change from wearing a striped shirt all the time. Tweed cap, probably. I don't know if I'm feeling snazzy and... Demure. Alright. I think we're good. What do you think? I'm going to bring different stuff each time I visit, so be sure to stop by. On the days I'm here, I'll be selling first thing in the morning until about 10 at night if you want to shop. Thank you. Uh, now I just kind of want to see where... Oh, it's a locust. I wanted to see where Tom might be at. Oh, and I should probably also buy some new supplies. There's a lot of locusts everywhere. A little typewriter. What is this? An AC? Outdoor air conditioner. Yeah. I'll buy it. I need a shovel. Oops, not the... No. <laughs> Maybe the yellow floral. And this, like, mosaic type flooring. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Terracotta. Alright, I'm almost broke, so... Better... Better to stop now than later. Bye. What kind of... theme are we going for with this living room? I kinda want this green wallpaper. Yeah. I like how the windows kinda change too. Actually, can I interact with these? Not really, no. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was wallpaper. Uh, yeah, no, actually I'm not a fan of that. I might just sell that. Pfft. I want to wear this. Yeah, I just need better fitting pants with it. How about this open collar shirt? Nah. Um, and then here's that tweed cap. Yeah, not great for this look, I don't think, but we will remove it. <laughs> Square glasses. Yeah. That's more like me. Just not the card again, but... Um, actually, yeah, this doesn't really fit with the pants, so I'm gonna change back into the striped tee. Here we go. Okay, let's put that outside. Ooh, where do I put it, though? I might have to move this hammock. Or like, what if I put it like back here? Hmm. I might just have to put it by the bushes. Hmm. Outdoor air conditioner, huh? I feel like that would make sense in a different building or something. I don't know. Like, what if I put it next to the window? I mean, yeah, it's like industrial and stuff. It doesn't really work, but... I don't know. I'll just put it away. Hi, Cherry. Rocking the, rockin the day along? Chat with me. This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up come up with meals for as many as I can. All right, let's start digging a few things. 
Ah, there's the message in the bottle. To the lucky duck who found this. I was rereading my old notes on how to become a pop star and found this fab recipe. I put it in this bottle, so check it out. This recipe is for sure a hit. You'll want to use it all the time. Sparkle on, Blue Bear. Pretty tulip wreath. Okay. Neat. I love how my glasses are really just floating on my face. <laughs> And then this cute music player. I want to hold this. Can I hold it? I can. Like, what am I supposed to dust with it? Oops. What do I dust with it? Oops. No, I don't want to toss something. Like, do we, do we do something in here? I'm still holding it, so I imagine probably. Like, hello? What am I supposed to dust? Is it just for decoration or something? Like, I actually don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm just gonna put this away. Uh, I don't know what else to do with it. Okay. Well, we are going to time travel one more day because I want to see the completion of um the, you know, resident services building. So, we will be right back. Ooh, it looks so good. Oh, I love it. And it's a sunny day. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. Now then, I'm sure you all can guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, today we've completed construction of the Resident Services Building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Ooh, the most iconic special character. Come on over. Hi! Aw, Isabel. It's nice to see you. Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the resident services staff here on Grandania. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here, hmm? I've got more to share. This building isn't the only new thing around here. We gave the plaza some much needed improvements as well. Normally the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of its prime location. But keep an eye out for occasional seasonal events too. Should be such fun for everyone, yes yes? Well, I believe that wraps up all my announcements for today. Except for one final thing. This was my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your news source for Island News. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, yes, there you have it. New building, new island staff. We are growing, growing, growing. Find out what's new at Resident Services. Oh, finding out what's new at Resident Services is as easy as stopping by and inquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new Resident Services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be will be there to help you whenever you need us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, my jingly bell sounded different. And we have new music, finally. Ah, uh, Nook Incorporated. Hmm, thank you. Celebrating the upgrade of the uh, resident services building. Open. Ah, oh, Nook Miles ticket. How fun, how delicious. I'm gonna start doing some of my daily chores before we go and talk to everyone else. So we will be back after a little while. See you soon. Hello. Ah, Peonic. Hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. I said that in a weird way. Oh, did I say tent? Of course, I meant building. And we couldn't have done... And we couldn't have built it without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. You're Piotic, right? Mr. Nook has told me all about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full for learning all the ins and outs of the new job. But I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. And there you have it. Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. 
Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at, sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush over in two, swish, two swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services. Now with that out of the way, I have something I'd like your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. I hope I can count on your continued support of Grandania and our new resident services building. Alright, I'll bite. Your home now has another room where once there was none, yes? You can use it for whatever you like. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel. That'll be 348,000 bells, hmm? Ah yes, please make your payments using the Nookstop's Nook ABD future as you've done before. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you, yes yes? In addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines such as ramps and stairs, or even moving existing buildings. These are optional extras for your island experience, so these services will of course incur additional fees. And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be, how can I be of assistance to you? Hmm. I, you wanted my help, right. Oh ho, you're already eager to hear how you can help out, hmm? Well, we've got a fine building for resident services now, and you've no doubt admired the plaza, hmm? It's primed and ready for major events, if I have anything to say about it. To think that we started with a deserted island and have grown into a bustling community. I wanted to do something grand to celebrate. Oh yes, I have big plans. Tell me more. Oh ho, got your attention, hmm? Our goal, the evil snicker, I love it, is to have the incredibly popular musician K.K. Slider come and put on a show here in, on Grandania. Chaotic, I'm sure you know who K.K. is, yes? Not a clue, I'm, a biggest, I'm his biggest fan. I always knew you had excellent taste, Chaotic. <laughs> I lied. I definitely lied. Um... <laughs> By the way, his song K.K. Lament is my go-to karaoke song. Ah, sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal. If we hold a KK concert here, Grandania could, be a, could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but the KK show would be the culmination of all our hard work. I love your cooperation, Chaotic. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do again. Alright, I guess I'll do it now. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to, to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents and we'll create a, and we'll create a Grandania so loved. Word of how great this island is will reach KK, and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. So, for the first step, We'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. A campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here, and it'll make for great PR material too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone, Chaotic? And done! I sent you the recipe for a campsite construction kit. I want you to craft I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for our new campsite. I'm counting on you. Alright, thank you, Tom. I wanna see if there's anything else. Um Let's hold a ceremony, yeah. Oh, you want to take part in a ceremony, Peotic? Right now, we're looking at holding a ceremony for the for the resident services building. Interested? I sure am. Splendid. Let's get started. Oh, look at everyone here. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Grand Grandania's Oh god, I almost sounded Midwestern there, and I am Midwestern. <laughs> Brand new resident services. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Grandania is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes? I must confess, I thought our little resident services building might be a tent forever. But now, here we are, with a beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Once again, I must thank everyone who supported our efforts. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge the strong ally who will help me run things from now on. Isabel, if you could grace our island friends with a few words. 
I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Grandania. Like Mr. Nook said, I'm Isabel. I haven't been on this island very long, so I have ways to go. I have a ways to go until I'm fully up to speed, but you can bet your bottom bell that I'll help in any way I can. If you need anything, come see me. Clappity clap. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. Next, we'll get a words from someone who made our brand new resident services building possible. That's right. It's time to hear from Grandania's very own Peyotic. Anything to add? Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and, en <laughs> and encouraging sem sentiments there, Peyotic. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press that button. Yes, well then. With hope for a continued growth and to celebrate Grandania's beautiful resident services. Hooray! Yay! Everyone looks so happy. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Aw, what a nice way to close out this episode because we are about out of time. Yep, so I suppose this is a great place to leave it off. If you enjoyed everything you saw in this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to press that little notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Peotic, signing off. Bye!